Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Underlevel Adventures of Pokemon White 2, where the enemy crits at every time, and the, po and the levels don't matter. Whose level is it anyway? Anyways, <clears throat> back here at Miss Dalton City, and I see rustling in the grass, which I'm really hoping for, for once, not an auto, but rather something else. Because hopefully, ah, okay, whatever. I'll explain later off screen. Anyways, allow me to explain. You see, I remembered the first time I when the first time I played um, yeah, when the first time I played White Two, and there's a shaking spot. I saw it, and it was an Emolga. I caught it because there was actually a very good reason. You see, in this ha you see, in one of the houses on this route, there's a hiker, and if you trade him in a Molga, he gives you a Gigalith. You get a free trade Pokemon that's fully evolved. And unlike that bitch in um, Snowpoint City, you know, the one who gives you a Haunter, and I missed out on the shaking spot, and unlike that lady here in Snowpoint City in Generation 4 who gives you a Haunter, holding Everstone, no, you're getting actually fully evolved Pokemon, which is great. So, I want to at least hold on to that as a temporary Pokemon. Not just as a, um... Yeah, because I pretty much made room for that. Putting Zora, Zora in the box. Sorry, N. So I'm just gonna wait. Uh, please be an Emolga. Please be an Emolga. Please be an Emolga. I want no I don't know. Come on! I got everything except a Molga! That was even rarer! Come on! Who asked for you? Nobody wants you! Get the fuck out! Ah! Okay. Try this again. Please? Back! Alright, I'm gonna try a few more minutes. If I can't find it, then I'm just gonna give up. If I can't find the Molga right now, then I'm just gonna give up right now. I, I'm just gonna give up in like three more attempts. Much, much later. Okay, so you know what? After 20 minutes of just searching through shaking areas, I've decided to just give up on trying to search for an Emolga. It's not even worth it at this point. I mean, at this point, might as well just battle these other trainers. And work on um, leveling up my other Pokemon, too. Now on several Audinos, which is some great XP. But well, honest to god, I was really hoping just to find one single Emolga. I even found it on Pheasant, which is, you know, actually rarer than... Actually has a smaller chance of finding it than an Emolga. Seriously, in the shaking areas... Emolga has like a 10% encounter. 5% is on Pheasant. The rest is... What is, is to nobody's surprise, Audino. So honest to God, yeah, I, I'm done. I'm not gonna, I'm not bothering. It's been 20 minutes of searching. Probably should have just done it off screen, but you know what? Whatever, I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. I give up. Oh, you don't have anything interesting. Whatever. All right. Even if, uh, even though I said I've given up, I'm still at least hoping by some miracle that I can find it. Alright. Dropping down. Sneak attack. Booyah! The sneak attack worked. The ambush worked out like a charm. Go on, Pokeball. Catch Pikachu clone number 79. God damn it! I keep thinking it's like Pokemon Go, or just like, if it struggles the third time, it's a guaranteed catch. It's like, usually two 
two struggles, it's risky. But three struggles, it's guaranteed. Hey, right, come on, go for it. Oh yeah! Thank goodness! Arceus, there is an Arceus after all. I was to say, like, there is a god in Pokey form. Alright! I finally have it. So now, let's go back to that house. Right here. Actually, I think it's something interesting I should point out. Uh, I think in black and white, um, it's the other way around. He asks for Boulder and gives you the Volga. So, I'm pretty sure it's implied that he trades you. That just like the Volga you traded back in the previous game gives you that. Start the Pokemon trade. Oh god, Volga's glitching! Okay. Alright, whatever. You're about to see, for the first time ever, an actual Pokemon trade. Yes, an actual Gigalith. I have an actual Gigalith. This is great. Cherish my Gigalith. I will. Even though if it's temporary, I'm keeping it. Alright. Oh, Gigalith already has it. Okay, cool. Bulldoze. Burn it. Um, yeah, I don't need that. Okay. And, wait, let's, uh, just, just, just to see one thing, if it's possible. Okay, never mind. I thought for sure Giggles would be one of those rock types that actually knows Surf. Sadly, that is not the case. Alright, hang on. Yeah. Of course, Stalin knows Aerialist, even though I don't want it to. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at that Gigalith. It's an Adam in nature, too, which is even better. That's probably, like, the best nature he wanted. Even though, admittingly enough, Gigalith does actually have decent, um, special attack. Alright, now we're done here. Time to go. Random Sub Striker! Cut! Alright! I'm good, I'm all set now. I finally got a Gigalith for the team, even though if it's temporarily, but hey! It's a free, fully evolved traded Pokemon. F evolved, f fully evolved and traded Pokemon. I'm gonna take it. Oh, and you are a trainer after all. Okay, I was wondering. You got three. Oh, good. Triple battles. God damn it. I'm not ready for this. Okay, that triple battle actually wasn't that bad. Oh, I'm okay with this. Oh, yeah. I almost. I completely forgot the point of our mission here. Uh, we were supposed to go to um, Celestia Tower to find Professor Juniper. I completely forgot the mission. <laughs> I've been so distracted looking for an Audino that I completely forgot what we're doing. Aqua Jet, uh, yes please, I'd like to forget this then. Revenge could come in handy. Alright. Really? Okay. That kind of fooled me. But, no thank you. Alright, we're going to Celestial Tower. I completely forgot. Oh, you're already here. That was easy. Celestial Tower. It's a giant memorial. I wonder if the building was placed with many ghosts and psychotopic Pokemons. Oh, I was thinking of Skylight. You won? Well, then the flight should be ready to fly. Lucky egg. Hmm. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Could use it. Actually, you know what? Before we go, I just remembered that, um, there's the, um, TM for, um, 
Shadow Ball, just like in the previous game. So I'm just gonna cut until I find it. Actually, I don't think anybody can use Shadow Ball. This is a pointless endeavor, so... Fuck it, I'm leaving. I'm leaving here. I wasted enough time going for... Searching for... The Mulgas. The Mulga that eluded me. Oh goody. Another Autonaut to fight, huh? Alright, I found enough Mulga farming. Oh, what chalk? Nice. But I think I've got enough. Fold, I fold. Not playing Go Fish. It's like, wanna play cards, but no, you don't got Uno. Everybody has Uno, it comes free with the fucking Xbox. Oh, okay, let's see. Alright, uh, let's see, I... No, not here. I think we go to the, um... Yeah, pilot station. The airport. Ready for takeoff. The professor reached a stopping point investigation. Ready to hop aboard? Ready for takeoff. Take us to Letnus Town. Oh, and Bianca's coming too, I guess. Yeah. Last time we checked, she was still in charge of Shona's cave this entire time. Trying to show the dedication of a serious trainer these days. Everyone's here. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, sorry. So, we're off. We're taking off. Or we're going to Lentil's Town. Lentimus Town. What's it called? Lentimus Town. Yeah, this is a brand new area, by the way, I she told you. Team Plasma is ready to use a legendary Pokemon to take off the Univer region. Again. There's some Zuck over there. But they each recognize a trainer as a hero. And then the other trainer. They're following the trainer, so... What are they planning? So, we're going to Ocalupa Oc City. We're gonna fight Drayden. Let's not get involved with Team Plasma, but still. Hearing what Drayden has to say will be interesting. A rare fire type Pokemon in Reversal Mountain. The Spanish Latin music, I believe. Yeah, this is a brand, again, brand new area. Okay. Oh, wait, now my axe grows go. We're going to Latinist. We're in Reversal Mountain. This area was not available in, um, uh, black and white. Like, I don't think you could fly there in the previous game. Uh, this is like, um, Lava Ridge City, or in, mixed with Bowser's, Bowser's Magma Mountain. Shift gear to Bob's your uncle. Like I said, I think this area is kind of mixed with, like, um, Lava Ridge Town and... Uh, Bowser's Magma Mountain, Mario Party 1. Anyways, we're going to Reversal Mountain. Wait, Bianca said there was a, um, rare fire type Pokemon, but you can't get that yet. I'm pretty sure you need to. Oh, it says post national decks. But it's basically Heatran. No other surprise. Also, found a Nummel. Never used a camera up before. But, eh, I'm not really interested. Doesn't really appeal to me, even though I like fire types. Oh, hello. What's shaking now? Another auto now? Yay. Well, get the XP share ready. Oh, goddammit. What now? Oh, hello, Scorpy. I didn't realize it was in this game either. But, nah. Drapion's cool, but I don't really need it. Okay, we're going to Reversal Mountain. Oh yeah, I think I should point out something important too. Um, back in, um, Route 7, or Route 8, you know, the route to, um, Twist Mountain? I should spoil it right now. 
Twist Mountain is not available in, um... Yeah, Twist Mountain is actually not available for access, because, um... Some of the areas are also blocked. In fact, I should also point out something else, too. Uh, remember back in, um... Castilia City, where the area to, um... The area to, uh, Pinwheel Forest, the bridge is, at, is blocked off? That's also blocked because of post-game. Yeah, it's funny how some of the earlier areas in the previous game are not even available. And holy shit, a drift limb! That's fucking awesome. You know, I think a thought occurs to me. Ghost types are actually pretty good on offense, but not good on defense. Cause let's see, they only they're like they're pretty much neutral against almost everything. Except for Dark Types and Steel Types pre-Gen 6. And they don't even do anything against Normal Types. But, um... But as for... But as for, the, but as for everything else, it's pretty good. Thinking about it. Those Types are actually pretty good. Offensively. Offensively. 